In New Orleans, Mardi Gras is more than just one day. The celebratory season of Carnival begins on Epiphany when we feast on king cake and bundle up for the Joan of Arc Parade. Houses transform from Christmas displays to the purple, green, and yellow gold of the season. The sound of marching bands rehearsing floats through neighborhood streets. The winter months that cast a cold shadow on the rest of the country does not fall on New Orleans. Instead, we gather our family and friends, our go-cups and our gumbo, our wigs and our glitter, and we take to the streets. We get weird with Chewbacca's and tiny with t rex We even have a parade for our dogs. We dance bike or run from uptown to downtown, mid-city to Magazine Street, bumping into neighbors and turning strangers into old friends. We dive for doubloons, clamor for coconuts, and beg for beads, keepsakes that will live on mantles and shelves as year-round reminder of the magic. We search for our first or fifth music shoe and gather to see the Bacchus Gator pass by the Oaks on St. Charles Avenue. We step around ladders and lawn chairs on our way to the grand finale. And when Mardi Gras morning finally arrives, we rise early to witness the Skull and Bones gang wake weary revelers in Treme. We wander Central City streets in search of the Mardi Gras Indians revealing their feathered suits for the first time. We wait under the bridge for the Zulu parade as shouts and cries echo off the I-10 overpass. And we greet every person we pass with Happy Mardi Gras. Because no matter how old you get or how many you've been to, year after year, the carnival spirit still runs through you. Mardi Gras is the culmination of hard work and even harder play. It's the day to be your most unique self, but also to be one with your parade neighbors, your community, and your city. <laughs>